Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the Enlightened One, the Enlightened One, a.k.a. God's Child. Uh, this is a very, very touching subject I'm going to talk about. Uh, before I get started, I like I appreciate everyone who like, share, subscribe my page. Thank you very much. I am grateful. I am sitting at home in my living room again. And as you can see, not much change, but I got to watch TV, so I... Hook my TV up on my back there, you know, but, uh, yeah, so thanks everyone out there who like and subscribe. Please continue to like and subscribe and leave your comments. Um, your comments, I love them. I like them. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Man, I appreciate you all, man. And, um, see guys, I'm getting off track here, you know, about this two-part situation. Um, Sometimes when we do things in life, uh, we get set off track. We lose our focus. We don't read the word uh, or we don't put the almighty high in it. I would like to say thanks to almighty high God for everything he has done for me, for the wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And I thank the almighty high for you viewers out there who watch, take the time watch, and watch and view my videos. I'm a humble man. I, I just express myself with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So let's keep that in mind, man. I don't want to forget about God. I'm not perfect. I'm still a man. Okay, let's get down to it. The casualties of war. When, when two people go at war, innocent people will get hurt. You know, when there's a street war, sometimes bullets fly, kills innocent children, senior citizen. Anyone that has nothing to do with the war, that's casualties. When soldiers are overseas fighting, innocent people get killed. Soldiers get killed uh, and civilians get killed. That's a casualty of a war. But is war worth it? Sometimes it is, sometimes it ain't. Tupac went to war against the East Coast when he got out of jail. He declared war on the entire East Coast. When he signed that contract with Death Row Records, Tupac was a different man. He wasn't the same. If you do your research, and here, these witnesses, relatives, friends of Tupac, they'll tell you. Tupac was a different man. See, prison did something to Tupac. You know, a lot of people who was down for Pac wasn't there for him. You know, people wouldn't put him on his books. Only Suge Knight. Fuck Suge. All money ain't good money, people. So let's get to the story about Faith and uh, Tupac. Now, Faith Evans was in a bad spot situation. Every woman that I seen that was signed to Bad Boy Records, uh, either they was drugged out or possibly passed around. See, when you sign up in industry, them women got to do some sexual demonic shit. And in my personal opinion, what I believe from what I saw growing up, bad boy don't have no respect for women. You know, Pete Diddy don't care about nobody but himself. He's all about money. Mary J, one of the biggest recording stars in the world, she was on coke at that time. She wore sunglasses doing those videos because she wore because she used because she was a dope addict, coke. Who's to say Mary J didn't have to get up under the table when she had to make those deals? Look at Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim came in the door as a bust down to Biggie. Her reputation, her as being passed around or she, her image, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, this woman was on a talk show. She was sucking on a baby bottle and said it was sperm. 
She said it was sperm. Somebody look that up for me. If I'm wrong, somebody just correct me, smack me or whatever. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to draw a picture here before I get to the point. Who else is on Bad Boy Records? It was Faith, Mary J. Okay, so now, uh, Faith Evans, if you watch her videos, cute little hottie, light-skinned chick. She looked high as hell. Hair wasn't done all the time, and she looked like she was really high. Possibility popping bill, pills or snorting cocaine. I, have this, I don't see too many women, bad boy women, that I know of came out on top. Not to mention Diddy was fucking people out their money. Okay. Diddy is shitty. Puffy ain't shit. Keep that in mind. And he gay. So there was a discrepancy on tour. It was Biggie, uh, Puffy, and Faith. They got into it. Biggie was married to Faith Evans. They got into it. Faith Evans left the tour. Just, you know, she couldn't take it no more. Not to mention Biggie was womanizing, fucking other women, stuff like that. That's documented. He was a womanizer. He cheated on his wife. I'm not condoning, I'm not condemning nor condoning, but stay with me. So what happens? Faith Evans went to L.A. Tupac saw Faith or something like that. They hooked up. You know, Faith, you know, Tupac like, yo, what's up, girl? What you doing out here? Stop. Dude, you don't never, ever fuck with a man's wife when it's personal. Tupac crossed the line by even just approaching Faith without Biggie's permission. Now, I understand Biggie and Pac was going at war over misunderstanding. See, Biggie took the high road. Biggie just, see, Biggie was with the industry, folks. Biggie already sold his soul. His, his name is etched in stone. He sold his soul. It's, it's, he did that. So for Tupac to do that, you cross the line, brother. Anytime a man or approach another man's wife, you have to notify the husband. Say, hey, man, I'm here with your wife. We talk a business, blah, 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 blah. How you feel about that? You cool with that? He didn't do that. See, Pac was on some vindictive ass shit. Vindictive revenge type shit. OK, something that happened in the studio in New York City uh, claimed that Biggie didn't have his back. OK. Biggie was dead with, with, with Puffy. So there are documents that Faith Evans was in the studios recording songs, even hit him up while Faith was right there. Now, ladies out there, answer this question. Why would you hang out with your boys, with your husband's enemy? See, some women will fuck another man just to hurt their husband or boyfriend or baby daddy, knowing that's the enemy. They do that. Women would do that. Women don't have to like the guy to fuck the guy to make you mad. There are women who will fuck your partner. And tell you they fuck your partner. And then they'll fall. And men are so stupid. They'll fall back. And watch them two squabble it out. Or kill each other for it. Nobody attacked the, the wife. They always attack the man. Or. Maybe Biggie didn't say nothing. Because maybe like Shock G said. In his video. Look it up. Shock G said that. Four hit men. Was out to get Tupac. Four Paid hit man, and he told Tupac, "Go to my one of my condos, watch the Jeffersons, relax, get off these streets." Tupac didn't listen. Maybe Biggie knew the hit was coming. If you're in the industry, how do you not know? Message. So, you know, Pac paid Faith. Out of his pocket. You know, there's weed, drinks, you know, weed, weed, drinks, you know, saying music going. This is Tupac. Tupac, a pretty boy, pretty boy thug. And, you know, he probably had his shirt off and shit. 
And he told Faith, yeah, girl, you know, I got your money. You got to come, come to my whole hotel room at night and I give it to you. Now, did Tupac mean give it to her or give her the money? Ladies, let me ask you a question. How many women you or that you know of that will go to a man's hotel room and not fuck? To answer your question, do I believe he smashed Faith Evans? Absolutely. Why? Faith Evans was weak at the time. She was vulnerable at the time. Uh, she felt unappreciated by Biggie. Biggie didn't appreciate her. Biggie was throwing bitches in her face and doing what he, you know. And she said, okay, I'm going to fuck your enemy. And Tupac smashed. It's probably, it was porno star. It was porno shit. Pac probably gave it to that woman all type of ways. And you know she gave him some head. Because she want that bread, that money. See, See, Faith wouldn't get no money from Diddy. Pac had that bread. How many women out there that got down for that bread? It's nothing wrong with that. See, Faith got paid pretty good that night for recording that song with Pac, taking pictures with Pac. So then after he smashed, Faith gave her, her money, which was cash. Undocumented it was cash. So now pictures plastered all over. Pictures plastered all over. And what happened? Uh, I fucked your bitch. Guys, let me, let me explain something to you. That's crossing the line. I'm a Tupac fan, but as a man, you do not fuck your boy's wife under no circumstances. There are men who will kill you over their wife. They will kill you. They will fucking kill you. It's not worth it. Tupac had plenty of pussy. He went too damn far. I'm not going to condone it. I'm not going to high five it. But in my opinion, Faith was wrong as well. She was weak. She was vulnerable. And she wanted some money. There are many women out there that will sleep with men for money. And there are men, many men who will pay for some pussy. Do you think I'm wrong? Or do you think I'm right? The casualty of a war, the casualties of war between Biggie, Faith, and Tupac. This is the Enlightened One, a.k.a. God's Child. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to make you guys conscious. Don't make the mistakes Pac made. Sometimes women, your boy, girl will come to you to throw you the pussy because she's mad at your boy. Don't fall for that trap. Turn it down. Elighten one, a.k.a. God's child. Thanks for liking, share, subscribe. Thank. Good night. Peace and blessings to you and your families.